Glorious day, everyone. This is Shelly Paris Williams, your holistic lifestyling coach, well being warrior, and sister in infinite possibilities. I wanted to go ahead and welcome you into my studio today. Throughout our time, all of the videos, all you've been hearing me talk about, I'm sure, is the boxing. And I wanted to also introduce you to one of my next loves. And that is yoga. <laughs> and I just wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of background about how I got introduced to it. It's pretty interesting that um, my very first introduction was at a yoga class at the YMCA. And it was many years ago, and I have to admit at the time, I definitely was not in a place to appreciate the beauty of what uh, quiet and stillness meant and, and going within. I also had a lot of preconceived notions and judgment surrounding that because, you know, being raised in the church, you hear a lot of things about yoga. And so I was very much standoffish, and I believe that's why. I did go into a setting like the YMCA because it was like safe and a neutral zone. Well, I went to that class and I was bored beyond belief and I went to sleep, I believe. It was very uneventful, but I know for me, it left this impression in my mind that, oh, what is this all about? So I kicked it to the curb. Uh, fast forward, last year, uh, beginning of, what were we, 2013, I would say, yeah, 2012, the beginning of 2012, you know, I found myself in a transitional time in my life, you know, it was where that longing, that desire, my passion had been reawakened, and I realized that you know, just the existence, the mediocrity that I had become accustomed to, but just couldn't resign myself to believing that this was it, this was my life, I realized that I needed more. I was also still going 100 miles per hour. At the time, I was still in corporate job and then also juggling my love and passion for holistic well-being. And there was a lot of resentment there and, and just resistance. And I was just all bound up. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to try that yoga thing again. And I found this amazing studio in Dade City. And I remember walking through the door. I did end up late <laughs> getting there. Sorry. And, you know, for me, I so mindful of that you know I, I definitely don't want to show up to places late it happens and I think one thing is for sure don't you know try to be on time absolutely but don't prevent you know being late keeping you from having such an amazing experience and I'm glad that I did choose to walk through the door I walked through the door and I heard this woman moaning and I at the time, I didn't know what position she was in, but it has become one of my favorite, most favorite positions, which is pigeon. And this woman is moaning and groaning, and I'm going in there, yes, being judgmental and critical, working on that stuff. And I'm like, is she serious? Like, does she have to do all of that? And the teacher there was just so loving and warm and compassionate. And it's truly the way that she invited me in and helped me to feel comfortable that even though I struggled in the poses and, you know, I felt awkward, it, it, it made me want to come back. And I was so happy that I did because then I remember the first time that I did get into Pigeon and if you know anything about yoga or if you're curious about it, I will encourage you to go ahead and try a class and keep an open mind. 
but uh, pigeon pose is it's a hip opener and you know yoga is all about breathing in and connecting mind body spirit and i still see myself on the mat in pigeon pose and i heard the groans and i heard the moaning and the tears were coming down my face and i experienced a release and now I could appreciate what that woman was going through because too often we go through life. I am, I've been an avid stuffer, stuffing my feelings and holding my breath and going along like everything is okay, including a smile. I got it, I'm strong, I got this. Well, I just want you to know that your body is a journal for your feelings, for your emotions. And what we hold on to, what we don't face, it will show up. It'll show up in the symptoms, the signs. That is how our body speaks to us. You know, that pain that you may quickly reach for some medication to make it go away. Sometimes we have to sit with the pain. We have to acknowledge the pain and get to the root of the pain. And that is what truly frees us. I am so fortunate and blessed to be going through the experiences that I'm going through now. I'm learning that it is all a part of my growth. And growing through it enables me to glow at the end, to provide encouragement, inspiration, be a testament for the next sister or mistar that is looking to get free. Freedom is a choice. It's a choice which will challenge you to get down deep and dirty. It's doing the inner work. You have to do the work. There is no way around that. It's about becoming present to your life. It's about taking it all in, the good, the challenging, the indifferent. It's being able to sit with that fear, with that pain, and no longer force of habit is, I'm gonna push it back down. You know, I'm gonna hold on to it, I'm not gonna breathe. It's about standing back, allowing it to rise up, and even that pain, that fear, that discomfort, that you bless it, that you stand in a position of observer and you watch it and you recognize that all of our feelings, they're valid. Now, it's about not getting stuck in the rut of any one particular feeling, just bliss, of course, but truthfully, you have to be able to sit with it all. And for me, that is a scary thing to do, even today. You know, I had my meditation and prayer this morning, and while I was doing my journaling, well, during the meditation, there were a lot of things that came up, and there were fears, and I saw the stuff flashing, and it was flashes of what ifs in the future. And those things haven't happened yet. And, and fear is all about, you know, getting scared about the what ifs. It hasn't happened. And there is validity to fear when it is warranted. You know, it's, it's there for a reason. You know, if we're in danger, it's there to let us know, hey, there's a tiger rushing at you. Uh, there's a car coming, you know, get out of the way. That is valid fear. But when we fear things about, you know, the future that hasn't happened, you know, we're projecting all these what ifs, that's where the issue lies. And we have to learn to take control of that. We do and recognize that we have a choice. We can choose to live our life fearful and safe and not rocking the boat, 
and you know all that good stuff you know all that comfortable comfortable stuff you know that mediocre life I mean if you're okay with that fine but if you have that gnawing feeling in the pit of your gut if your heart is aching and you know there is so much more for you to experience I want to challenge you to taste all of it taste all of life the juiciness of it the sweetness of it running down your mouth I want you to taste the bitterness the sour the saltiness of the pain experience it all in its fullness be okay with it sit in a seat of allowance and recognize that you are the creator that everything that you're experiencing right now in your life is a byproduct of the thoughts that you had yesterday and no more has bring all thoughts captive come real to me more than in these last few months in my life that I, I really understand what that means and when those thoughts come up you recognize that you have a choice am I going to meditate on this you know I don't have to own it if I don't want to why who says we have a choice so every day I make it my business to wake up choosing to be happy, to wake up committed to living a ridiculously amazing life. You know why? Because I deserve that. Because I am a child of God. I am divinity in physical expression, energetically aligning to my soul purpose. I am bringing God's desires and, 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 and will for my life into fruition when I say yes, when I become a willing vessel and I allow his message and his words to pass through me. So I just wanted to, again, take this time to just share with you my love, yoga. And I am so excited to be going through my teacher training and this weekend is my our last class for the new year until the new year and i'm really looking forward to it it has been so transformational to me it has been wow i, I can't even begin to to efficiently put it in in words to describe the changes that i have seen in my life but i am so blessed that I answered the call, that I opened myself up to new experiences and I didn't accept the fact that this is as good as it gets because there is so much more to be experienced and I'm so looking forward to it. You know, grow and glow together. Our sisters, it's all about Raising awareness and awakening women to the infinite possibilities in their lives. And I just want you to know that there is so much life left for you to live. I believe I shared it in, in yesterday or the day before this video about living full and dying empty. That is so true. I no longer choose to sleep. I'm awake and present in my life. And this is the most that I have ever been. And I'm seeing life through a whole new perspective. I'm choosing my experiences. I'm taking responsibility. And I've decided that I'm no longer going to be a renter, but an owner of my life. So join me if you will. Visit us at growandglowtogether.com or inlifeconnection.com, which is my holistic well-being practice. You can also like and share us on Facebook, Grow and Glow Together, and also In Life Connection. 
I so love connecting with you. I thank you for all of all of you that have reached out to me, that have let me know by me sharing, you know, if it's my post on my personal page or on my business page or just doing these videos that it's touching your life and, and it's allowing you to show up that as I stand and say, yes, yes, and Lisa Nichols is one of my favorite she is one of my board of creators. I love you, Lisa Nichols. So yes, yes. And I'm down with the no matter what law of attraction. If you're with it, I'm here with you. I want to connect with you. You know, leave a comment below. Let's get in touch. It's so important to surround yourself with people that will think <laughs> that ridiculously and amazing is okay. I don't want to be like everyone else. You know, and I don't want to prescribe to any other life that anyone else has for me. Have done that for many years. I'm living out the greatest and highest good that God has for me. I hope you are too. So with that, I hope you have an awe-inspired day. Peace, love, light, and aliveness. Until we meet again, this is Shelly Paris Williams your holistic lifestyling coach, well-being warrior, and sister in infinite possibilities. Namaste.